Hello. Uh, so today what I'd like to talk about is synchronizing all your equipment to thirds of a stop and it'll make your manual shooting much better. Okay, you can either do halves. The light meter is set up, you can do tenths, halves, or thirds. And the camera, my Nikon D7100, it is halves and thirds. And the way you get the most precise control in your images is by using thirds because there's three increments to every stop. So you have which is EV0, that would be like a full stop, EV, EV plus a third, EV plus two thirds, and you're back to the next whole stop. So you get the most control by using thirds. So I'm going to show you now how to synchronize your light meter and your camera so that they're in, in thirds and everything is in agreement and it'll make your photography a lot easier. Okay, so let's get started. When you fire up your light meter, you hold your mode this is a Sekonic L308S. Okay, I really like this light meter, it really does the job. So I'm gonna hold the mode button while I turn the power on. Okay, so this is kind of like a startup mode and it's showing you your options. So you can either be in thirds, thirds of a stop, one whole stop, or a half a stop. So I'm gonna go with a third, then you just power it down while you're in a third. Okay, so that takes care of your light meter. Your light meter is now synced for thirds of a stop. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the camera and I'll walk you through this. Okay, let me come behind the camera here. I'm going to power it on. Go to menu. Now what you want to do is go to this, it looks like a little pencil or something like that, right? And you're going to go to metering exposure. Let me try to get this little setup here. Okay, we're going to click OK or select. And we're going to go here, see EV steps for exposure control. Now you have two choices. You can be in half half uh, half stop. It's called step, but it's really stop, right? Half stop or thirds of a stop. I'm going to go with thirds of a stop. Okay, and you can see it's it's chosen there for a one third. Okay. Now let's go to the back of the camera. Let me turn this camera around. So I want to meter toward the sun deliberately to show you how this is going to work. Okay. Now let me act as if I'm going to take an image here. Okay. I'm going to hit. Okay, now, you see this bar, the, the bigger dots, it's a stop. Okay, so this dot is a stop, and this dot, let me hit my info button again. And so this is plus, this means you're overexposed. This is one, two stops over, one, two stops under, but each bar is a third. It's showing you a third of a stop. Okay, so let's go here. Now, I'm going to show you how this works. We're at F8, right? Now, we know the next whole, the next whole stop is F11. Okay, there. Um, it shows now. Um, um, gosh, dog it. Okay, now watch. Um, let me get it to it. There's a whole stop, right? So, I'm underexposed. So, now I go to... Oh, that's my shot. Let me go back to my aperture. 7, 1, 6, 3, 5, 6. You see that? So, from 5, 6 to 8 is a whole stop. So, I'll show you again. Okay, I'm underexposed by a third of a stop. That's what that dot means. Now I'm underexposed two thirds of a stop, underexposed one whole stop. Now let's do the same thing with shutter. So we saw that. So I'll just show you how this works. Okay, my shutter's at 1 800, 1 over 800, right? So I'm going to open it up, let more light in. Two thirds, one third. Now see that? It, the math works out. So I'm at 1 over 400. So twice as fast as that would be, or half the light would be 1 over 800. So let's do it again. Okay, one click, two clicks, three clicks. So you see three thirds, right? So every time, three clicks equals one, right? Three over three fractionally is equal to one. So there's where you get your one whole stop. So let's do it again. Okay, I'll go the opposite way just to show you. One, two, three clicks, and we're at one over 1,600, see? So one, two, three thirds. Now we're back to one over 800. And I'll do it again with the aperture. Five, four, five, and four. So we know there's one whole stop between four and five, six. So one click, two clicks, three clicks. That's one whole stop. So we have just synced now. We have just synced our light meter and our camera to be in thirds of a stop, so they're in agreement. And I think one of the uh, a big mistake people make is when they fire up a Sekonic when it's new, the default setting is to whole stops. And what that'll give you is a fractional. Here, I'll, let me, hold on one second, let me show you here. Let 
let me just write it down. It's easier to visualize here. So you turn your light meter on and it'll say something like this. It'll say 5.6 and something like this, like a subscript, okay? So it'll say something like that, or it'll, it might say something like a 7 tenths or something like that. So we know this is approximately, this is, this is almost two thirds, right? So that would be 7.1. So you don't want to mess with this. This is just going to confuse you, right? If you have it to one EV, one EV is you'll get this, you'll get tenths. If you set your light meter to 0 0.3 EV, right, you'll get, it'll actually give you whole stops. It's kind of counterintuitive, but if you set it to thirds, you actually get, uh, you know, like a thirds of a stop. So it would be five, six, six, three, seven, one, a so forth and so on okay so it's much easier if you're in thirds of a stop so I just wanted to show you that so that's sinking to a thirds and uh, I'll show you some other tricks to get a correct exposure and there's a lot of variables that can go into getting a correct exposure and I'm gonna write these out now and then we'll resume in just a second okay Okay, so I'm back here and I want to show you how all this works. Okay, I'm in ambient mode. If you can see here, this picture of the sun is ambient. Okay, that means my light meter is in ambient mode, not in, in strobe mode, okay? So here's how this works. I have my ISO at 100 and my shutter is at 1 over 125. Now I'm going to press this button to get a, a meter reading and I want to show you the lighting conditions here at the self-storage facility. Okay, it's kind of harsh. I'm in shade right now. So let's get the first one. Okay, this is what the light is reading. F4. So if I wanted to take a picture right now, I'm in manual mode. This is going to be a little jacked, so I ask your patience. This is kind of tricky. Okay, so you can see I'm in F... I'm in uh, ISO 100, 1 over 125, and I just crank my front dial here on a, the Nikon D7100. This sub-command dial is aperture, and this is my shutter here on the back side of the camera. Let me try to get it in better light. See right here, this is shutter, and this on the front, this one is aperture. So I just turned it to F4, okay? Now let's move out away from the building a little bit. I'll take another reading, it's at 4.5. I come to my camera if I wanted to take a picture. Okay, I turn my aperture dial there, boom, four or five. You see how it's synced up? My light meter and my camera are synced up. Okay, let's move out a little bit more. Now I'm in direct sunlight, F13. Okay, now I'm at F13 in direct sun. Come back over to my camera. Okay, I'm just gonna keep turning my aperture, F13, okay? Now let's go out a little bit more. Get another one, F16. If I wanted to take a picture, I'm in fully manual still. All right, I just turned my aperture, F16. Okay, I'm still one over 125 on my shutter, and you see my ISO is at uh, one over 800. Okay, um, so that's all there is to it, really. Uh, now, again, I, ha I have my white balance wrong. I have it in flash. I would just, here, I'll even show you how to do that. So we'll go to, go to here, we'll hit, uh, uh, oops, ISO. We'll hit the white balance here. White balance. Okay, now see I changed it to sun. See that little icon of the sun? So that means I'm outdoors in natural sunlight. So there we go. So that's all, that's all there is to it. I know this is really wobbly and shaky, and I apologize for that. But I just wanted to show you when you sync your light meter and your camera to thirds of a stop, there's, you eliminate all guesswork. There's no tenths, right? There's no tenths to be guessing. You're just, it's a one-to-one -one, uh, linear relationship between your light meter and your camera, and it's, it's a no-brainer. Okay, thank you.